We know where you live is important to you. It matters to you, your family, and of course us here at 10 Tampa Bay. That's why we're highlighting neighborhoods across the Bay Area. 10 Tampa Bay is linking up with your spaces. Today we're highlighting an area of Polk County and the surrounding communities of Lakeland. This morning we are headed to take a look at a few of the drive-ins left in the state. But first we have our 10 Tampa Bay Jabari Thomas out live at the Lakeland YMCA for us this morning. Okay, we're doing a different exercise. This is I very like Tom this Brady one. This is of actually, you, yeah. This is good for the arms. Uh -huh. It's good for the arms. <laughs> yes, I was stretching after that LeBron James shot. Nothing but net. I don't know if you all tuned in last week when we were in Wesley Chapel, but I didn't make a single net. <laughs> but this week, we are here at the Lakeland Family YMCA. It's really cool. They've been here since the 60s, and they're going to have a huge renovation coming up. It's going to be awesome. And I also want to add that they're going to start a personal training program that's going to be geared towards kids 10 and older. That's going to start next year. But now, for all my movie lovers out there, I want to tell you guys about this Silver Moon Drive-In, okay? They've been around for more than 75 years, and there are only four left in the state of Florida, drive-in movie theaters, and Silver Moon is one of them. We talked to Chip Sawyer, who's been hanging out at Silver Moon since he was a kid, and his grandfather actually ran it. Check out what he had to say about his grandfather's legacy. This is our marquee with our neon. And so it does get backed up out here. So we do encourage people to get here early for that reason. My grandfather started Sons Out Theaters, was president for many years, worked with us up until about his passing. I worked with him before for many years, as did some of our staff here. He worked under Floyd Theaters that started the theaters like in the late 40s. And in the mid 90s, uh, formed Sons Out Theaters and bought a couple of the theaters um, when they were being sold off, most to developers. That's how Sons Out Theaters was founded. So I grew up coming here fairly often. You know, I'd also go to the indoor theaters too, but my parents would bring me out here. So I remember, you know, my grandfather standing out front with this traffic wand directing people in. This was the original box office, so now we have the driveway, so they queue down to that driveway. That, that box office down there is what we use today. We definitely do still have a lot of new customers come out, and it's really cool to see. One thing we do well is we kind of keep up with the times. We had to upgrade our equipment recently to laser projection. If you'll notice, our movies look really good on the screen. We've got like really top-notch technology that goes behind that, that gives customers what they want, which is a quality picture. As people learn about us, it seems like they continue to come back. Definitely a different experience than just the regular indoor theater. And we're definitely happy to keep the legacy going on because he was super proud of his drive-ins and super proud of all of them. And he you know, really enjoyed being here and seeing people have fun. So I think we're doing a good job of continuing that. Oh uh, yeah, how cool is that? And when they're not showing movies, they actually turn into a flea market, a, a definite staple here in the community. Well, that seems to be it here for Lakeland for the Bright Side Show. We're having a good time. Hey, everybody, say hi. You're on live TV, even though you don't know. <laughs> say hello, Please. Mom. Hi. <laughs> They're all well ahead of us this morning. You guys, come check them out. It's the YMCA. Yes, and Silver Moon, too. I yeah. have never been to a drive. -in, I know so we should go. go. That looks like a fun little field. I'm, I'm excited. Movie under the stars. Yes. 